everyone and welcome to Case Cakes, the show where I veganize your favorite recipes. It has crossed my mind that for a show called Case Cakes, I have not actually made very many cakes. So today we are just going to do a very nice vanilla cake with vanilla buttercream. Um, this is actually the first time that I have made the recipe prior to filming. I've made this cake before. Uh, so there should be a lot fewer hiccups than uh, we have had in other episodes. It's also ge generally just less complicated than something like a baked Alaska. So hopefully it'll go smoothly and uh, let's get right into it. So for this recipe, you will need some non-dairy milk, apple cider vinegar, aquafaba, vegan butter, sugar, vanilla extract, flour, baking powder, salt, powdered sugar, and vegetable shortening. So the first thing you should do, as always, is preheat your oven, so that's going to be at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, or what is that, 180 degrees Celsius, so I'm just going to... Alright, so oven, preheating, and this is a two-layer cake, so I've already prepared my pans. Um, I'm using two eight-inch round cake pans, um, and I just put the parchment paper round on the bottom and gave it a little... A non-stick spray as well. So the next thing is to do our makeshift buttercream which is going to be uh, a cup and a quarter of any non-dairy milk. I have soy milk today and normally I would say use unflavored um, like more for cooking. For baking the vanilla is fine. It'll just you know, it's a vanilla cake, so it's not going to hinder our flavors in any way. So there's a cup and a quarter of our non-dairy milk. And to that, I'm going to add two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar um, to give it the acidity. So it'll be like a, like a buttercream. Not a buttercream, excuse me. A buttermilk. Okay, so we're just gonna let that uh, faux buttermilk sit for a bit. In the meantime, I have half a cup of aquafaba um, drained from uh, just a can of chickpeas. So I'm gonna have that on its own. It's gonna be functioning as our egg. So I just put that in a bowl. I'm gonna whisk it a little bit until it gets a little foamy. nice foam on there. You just want to work some air into it. So now we're going to get into the first steps that you would take for a non-vegan cake because that's just like preparing our, our substitutes, our, our buttermilk and our egg. Um, so this is going to follow the creaming method. So I'm going to start with uh, half a cup of vegan butter that has been softened. So just leave it out on the counter for a little bit. So half a cup of vegan butter, that is just a full stick of vegan butter. Put it in my mixing bowl. Along with half a cup of canola oil, or you know, any other oil that doesn't have a strong flavor like uh, avocado oil or grapeseed oil. We're gonna do half a cup of canola oil. and also a cup and a half of sugar. As usual for the show, I am using um, unrefined sugar, so there is no bone char. So we'll do a cup and a half of sugar. 
So the creaming method involves taking your fat and creaming it with the sugar before you add anything else to it. So we're just gonna mix this up until it gets nice and creamy. Okay, so the next step is to add our wet ingredients, which is going to be the aquafaba that was just whisked, half a cup of the aquafaba, and one tablespoon of vanilla. And we'll just give that another quick mix. Okay, and now we'll add the dry ingredients. Three cups of flour. One. Two. Three. One tablespoon of baking powder. and half a teaspoon of salt. So there's our dries. Now, while that's going to keep my mixer from having too much of a challenge with it, I'm gonna add this um, makeshift buttermilk while it's mixing. I mean, that's it for the cake batter. Like I said, it's a really simple recipe. So I'm gonna uh, get my cake pans over here. All right, so I've just tidied a little bit. I've got my two pans here, so try to split the batter as evenly as you can. So they're about the same height. These are going to bake for 30 to 35 minutes. cake needs a good frosting so we're gonna make a buttercream frosting oh buttercream I'm gonna take uh, half a cup of vegan butter and I'm also gonna do a half a cup of uh, vegetable shortening now I like to combine them because depending on what kind of vegan butter you use, it can be unpredictable how the oil is going to sort of structure. So I'll just start by uh, creaming these. All right. And then uh, I am going to add three and a half cups of powdered sugar. One, two, and change. Three and a half. 
And if it turns out to be not thick enough, you can always add more powdered sugar. And if it is too thick, you can always add just a splash of uh, milk. Um, I am gonna add just a splash of milk because my mixer is having a hard time, though just telling me that it's too thick. But I'm also going to add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And this is gonna sound weird, but add a pinch of salt. That looks like a lovely butter. And now we just gotta wait for uh, the cake to come out of the oven. All right, so our cakes are baked. Um, I also let mine cool once they came out of the oven for about 20 minutes, just cause if you're putting frosting on a warm cake, it's gonna melt. Uh, it just doesn't work. So bake for 30 minutes, cool for 15, 20 minutes, and we're ready to go. So let's do it. So, I'm gonna pop one of these out of the mold. I'm gonna start with this one because it's in the spring form and it's easiest. It is still a little warm, but it should be okay. So layer one, I'm just gonna do a nice buttercream fill. Cake, and the cake is the best part. All right, I'm gonna call that good enough and then get my second cake layer out of here. Perfecto. So now we wanna cover not just the top, but also the sides. I'm gonna give this a more generous amount of frosting. And I prepared my piping bag. Almost there. Almost there. I'm almost satisfied. All right, so um, I am going to be extra and do a little bit of piping. Um, I am using a Wilton 67 today, so it's sort of a leaf shaped tip. I'll just put a nice border on it. This tip is very narrow. Nope. It looks so pretty. All right, and there is our vegan, very vanilla cake. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Go ahead and leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Comment down below a recipe you'd like to see me try to veganize. Subscribe if you're interested in more vegan baking. And we are continuing with the MCU Bake-a-thon. Um, so subscribe if you're interested. You can also subscribe to my Patreon. The link is in the description down below. All the money from that goes towards ingredients and kitchen equipment, other things that'll make the show better. If you subscribe, you get behind the scenes content, early access to my videos, access to uh, Baker's Discord, and other such goodness. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.